Welcome back everybody to part 2 of the nearly 100 booster pack battle versus Ruxin34200 if you count his packs. Today we're going to be searching for those other ghost rare galaxy eyes dragons in the first video. We couldn't get the OG but today we're going to try with Galactic Overlord a first edition booster box to get that Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, something you've already seen me pull versus Ruxin34 in a booster pack battle. And Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, 24 unlimited packs in search for that evil Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. The giveaway for today's video will include one Yu-Gi-Oh calling card, but also all of the super rares that you see pulled today. To enter today's giveaway, all you have to do, leave a like, subscribe, and comment who you think won this pack battle. But really, we're all winners here today because these packs were provided to us by the one and only Alberto Jr. Make sure you guys check him out on, J on JG, on IG if you haven't already. But without further ado, we're gonna jump right into this and crack this Galactic Overlord box. It's been too long. Let's do this. Let's see if we can pull that Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Whoops, smack the light there a little bit. Awesome, and there we go. 24 Unlimited Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy Booster Packs. Let's see, this is pretty much the uh, good Galaxy Eyes versus the bad here. Let's see if we can pull one of them here. Again, huge shout out to Junior for doing this. And today, as you can see, we're opening it up on the Majestic Star Dragon mat. Yesterday, we opened it up on the uh, Shooting Star Dragon mat. And I think those dragons actually look similar. Shooting Star Dragon and Neo Galaxy Eyes, or Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, because they got the hands there. So that's why I opened them up on that mat. Oh my goodness! A secret rare right off the bat, and card, card D. I, I was actually looking through the set list, and there's a little, a kind of a horror story. Back in the day when this set was originally released, this card was worth like $100 or something like that. Obviously, like all meta cards. And for some reason, well, sorry, that's not the whole story. Somebody beside me at my locals was opening up none other than Gladiator's Assault, one of my favorite sets. They pulled another secret rare. That just happened to be one of the uh, secret rare spell cards that you can pull from Gladiator's Assault, Magic Formula. They asked me if they if I would trade my card card D that I just pulled beside them for their their magic formula, which was going for about like $80 at the time, and I think it was unlimited, but I didn't make the call. I didn't make the trade. I now I don't think it was I can't I don't think I'm remembering the trade like fully, like, but I think that was something along the lines. I think it may have been a troll trade, like I don't think he was actually going through with it. I think when he pulled it, he was like, he offered me to trade, but then he was like, no, and he took it back. But that's just one of the horror stories, one of the Yu-Gi-Oh horror stories that I have. That's crazy though. Secret rare on the first pack. Hey, Lady of D, that's one of the cool commons. But uh, I don't know if it was uh, as good as our last secret rare. And <laughs> Doom Donuts, that was actually another one of my, one of the funny commons that uh, I saw when I was looking up the set list. Heretic Dragon. Heretics again coming in this set. Ooh. Guys, okay, it's a water monster, so I don't think it is the ghost rare. Oh my goodness. It is a number 32 shark drake. This is crazy. Can't even get everything out what, that I want to say. I was going to mention that I want to pull this in ultimate rare. This guy is absolutely epic. Do not, I did have not even pulled him in Ultra Rare, so that's pretty epic right there. This is the original Shark Drake. Not the one that comes in Ghost Rare, that is Shark Drake Vice. Pretty awesome though, we've pulled, we've pulled some pretty good Ultras. Hopefully, hopefully we can pull a good ulti now for, uh, for Junior. Now we're gonna open up Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. And as I was saying before I was distracted by uh, Secret Rare and Ultra Rare pulls, check out Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy and Majestic Star Dragon. Don't those kind of look similar? Isn't that pretty crazy? What? You guys don't care? You want me to... Oh, you, you just want me to shut up and open the packs? Sorry about that. <laughs> we'll get right to that. But uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. This dragon, 
obviously not having hands, Majestic Star Dragon and Lord of the Tachyon Galaxies, uh, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Oh my goodness! A secret, oh my, that's crazy, sorry, I completely forgot, I thought we were still opening Galactic Overlord. This is a completely different set. I was going to say, two secret rares out of one, not too bad, Spellbook of Judgment. Jesus, all these crazy pulls are getting to me before I can even get to what I want to say. There are some pretty cool super rares in here as well. Uh, Madoshe Hootcake. It did get reprinted, but the original is in here. It's still worth a pretty penny. I don't think this is one of the better secret rares from Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, though. Sp oh, Spellbook of Judgment actually is one of the better secret rares. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if I have my Canadian address up here, but it says first edition... $16 up here. I say that because on my TCG player account, if you have your Canadian address, it won't show uh, cards that uh, will be, sh that it won't show sellers that don't ship to Canada, basically. So you won't see the full market price. So I try to keep my US uh, address up there so I can give you guys the market price of what most of y'all would find it, would be able to find these cards for. But here we go. Okay, can we can we slow it down here? No, no. Let's not slow it down. Let's just keep pulling ghost rares. But yes, Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Uh, that uh, I think this set, or sorry, the um, the card in here, the cover card, looks a lot like Majestic Star Dragon. I don't know if they did that intentionally. Oh, there we go. A super rare for you guys, Constellar Sombre. Yeah, I don't know if they did that intentionally. If they made them like look like each other, but I think like this guy looks like really mechanical. Obviously, no hands. All right, here we go. First super rare for you guys. And yeah, let's keep the Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy packs, or sorry, pulls separate from the Galactic Overlords. Uh, what else did I want to say? I had some things written down over here. Oh yes, one thing I obviously forgot to mention. Even though I've said it like multiple times in multiple videos. Ooh, we have another hollow and another super rare for y'all. Hammer Bouncer. Here we go. That's our first super from Galactic Overlord. Three for three hollow so far there. But yes, 2,000 subscriber special. We are going to be opening up. We have it right here. Might as well show it off. This Crossroads of Chaos booster box. All you have to do, you know what to do. Subscribe if you don't see that you've already subscribed there hit that subscribe button at the time of recording i think we're only about 200 subscribers or something like that away from opening or so yeah away from opening slash away from 2000 subscribes you know what i'm talking about <laughs> all right sorry i'm trying to keep keep track here lord of the tachyon galaxy here let's do that let's put one aside so we know we've opened two um, again, yeah, Medelche Hoot Cake. Pretty epic card to pull here for y'all. Hopefully we pull one of those guys. Um, but of course, we want to pull that Ghost Rare, or even an Ultimate Rare, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. That would be a sick card to pull. I have never pulled one in either rarity. Oh, nice, there's a Mecha Phantom Beast. And an Ultra Rare Noble Knight. <laughs> Galahad. I butchered that guy's name the first time I <laughs> saw it. Had uh, no idea how to say it. Oh, actually, there's some decent uh, commons in here as well, and decent rares. The uh, the Dragon Rulers in Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Galactic Overlord, not so much in terms of value, but does have those uh, <laughs> those cool, cool ones that I mentioned. Lady of D and Doom Donut. <laughs> like those guys. Alright, here we go. Summon Breaker. Battle in Boxer. Let's pick it up a little bit because it is 48 packs this time. Oh, and there we go, guys. An epic super rare for y'all. All you have to do is subscribe and comment who you think won. And we've got some epic pulls so far here again in round two. I was going to say, Ruxin's luck is bound to pick up. I, I think actually, I predict that he's going to pull a, a ghost rare. If not in this video, in part two, definitely in part three, when we're going to be opening up 
some Duelist Genesis packs. I'm pretty jacked up for that. Pretty awesome packs for Junior slash Alberto to send. They're both the same guy, yeah, <laughs> Junior same. Alberto. I know Ruxin mentioned his name was Alberto, but his uh his nickname, his nickname is a Junior, so that's what I go by. JR. Alright, two more Galactic Overlord packs. <laughs> We've got to slow down a little bit, right? We've so far pulled three for four on Galactic Overlord. Right? I think we've gone... Oh, there we go. With that wacky magic. Gotta love those wacky cards. And... Ah, okay. Slowing down a little bit on the hollows. Oh, nice. Another Doom Donut. Epic card. Come on, where's that first ultimate rare? And, uh... Ooh, there we go. That's a pretty cool rare, though. Ancient Dragon. And for the, the winner, um, for the winner slash winners, I'll probably be doing two winners now that we have Madoshi Hoot Cake. He's pretty good uh, as uh, one just by himself. I say that because uh, I was, these are loose Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy packs, and you don't know uh, if you're going to get a lot of super rares. Hopefully, we just get all ultimate rares. So I was thinking, like, if the ratio doesn't work out, and if there's only, like, one super rare that we pull from Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, we're definitely not going to have that problem with a, a sealed box here. But you never know with loose packs. So I was thinking maybe just do one giveaway. But we're definitely going to be do, doing two giveaway winners. So make sure, again, you like, subscribe, and comment who you think won this battle. And also, give uh, give Junior a check out. Check him out on IG. Junior slash Alberto. Again, same guy. That's his alias. That's his uh, superhero name. <laughs> Check him out on IG. He's a, he's a fellow collector. He doesn't post as much, but uh, definitely a cool dude. Ooh, here we go. We have another holo, and it's an ultra rare Harpy Channeler. This is the best ultra from the set. I forgot about this girl, too. This, this girl actually just got reprinted in the Lost Art, as you all know, but it comes in ultimate rare here, so hopefully we just pull absolutely godly here and pull the ultimate rare too. That would be unreal. If I was going to get any other ultimate other than the cover card, obviously, the Galaxy Eyes. I would definitely want that Harpy Channeler. Alright, I just went for another Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy pack, but I don't know if that uh, if I went out of order. I'm trying to go like two for two here. Alright, here we go. Final Insection. There's also some Insector cards in here. Okay, I went to count where we were, <laughs> but, uh, and then I completely just distracted me and forgot where I was. I think I was, I just opened one Galactic Overlord, right? We'll get to back to Lord of the Tachyon very soon. Pretty sure y'all don't care. Like I said, shut up and open, right? <laughs> Heretic Seal of Banishment, and another epic super rare! This is dope. Okay, I completely forgot to mention her, too. Queen Dragoon de Jin. This is worth a pretty penny. Also, first edition from Galactic Overlord, so that is a plus. But epic. Again, one of the ones that you guys can win. Just leave a like, subscribe, comment. You know the drill. Get to it. All right. Lord of the Tachyon. Oh, my nose. Ah, I got an itch on my nose while I'm opening a pack. Ah, got to attack it with my shoulder. <laughs> All right, here we go. Battle in Boxer. Switch hitter. Switch hitter? That's his name, right? X uh, Z block or XE's block. Eagle Shark. Burning Dragon Ruler of Sparks. Ruler of Prophecy. And here we go, guys. We have an ultimate rare, and it is an XE's monster. I know y'all, some of y'all don't like card tricks, but uh, how do you like it from the back? Do you guys <laughs> do, <laughs> do you guys like it from the back? I can <laughs> oh my goodness, sorry if I just ruined the suspense on that. I did not mean to do that. That is terrible. Do you guys like it from the back when I pull the cards from the back there? Is that suspenseful enough for y'all? Here we go. Ultimate Rare Exceeds Monster. And it is a number C105 Battle and Boxer Comet Cestus. Jesus, I got that all in one go. That is hilarious. I was really hoping to see a number 107. We're two numbers off there, guys. Oh, but that is still an epic ulti, that one that I haven't pulled. Pretty awesome. And does this guy come in um, ultimate rare 
and rare. I don't know if this set is like that. I know like the later GX, sorry, the later five, uh, <laughs> the later Zexel sets started mixing it up with like super rares as ultimate. I'm not sure what he is. Either way, this one is the ultimate rare version. That's all that really matters. This is pretty epic. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy coming in clutch. Not only that, but we've got some epic super rares for y'alls. For y'alls to pulls. That is awesome. Alright, here we go. Can we pull another one back to back? Ooh, it is another hollow. And it's another super for y'all. Celeste, uh, Constellar. <laughs> Celeste? Constellar Sombre. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Channer my uh, inner Ace Ventura. Another Galactic Overlord. A couple Galactic Overlord packs. I feel like now we've definitely jumped the gun on the Lord of the Tachyon. Open too many of those. Maybe not. Who, who, who cares, really, right? Here we go. Oh, whoop. Okay. It's just an empty pack. There was one sitting here in between my tripod. Overlay Owl. Mini Guts. Return. Lady of D. There he is. Awesome. Or she is. A papular... Pa, pa, photo of a papular operative. <laughs> Got that. Well, that was perfect, right? Perfect execution on that one there. If I do say so myself. Alright. Let's pick it up a little bit. Um, What else was I going to say? I think I said it all. Galactic Overlord. What are some more epic cards that we can pull from here? Uh, Shark, Shark Drake is definitely the ulti I want to pull. Almost more so than the cover card. Galactic Overlord was actually the last... Um, the last set that I kind of like went to a sneak peek of. Technically. Well, I, I did go to... Sorry, I did go to a Bosch one randomly, but... The last one I was still playing. Only really played around Ixies. Oh, there we go. Tempest, Dragon, Ruler of Storms. I'm not sure if that's one of the better rares. And a Battle and Boxer. Keep it aside just in case. Okay, yeah, we're 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 on pace here. Two on each side left. Here we go. My OCD, I gotta line the cards up in the back there. Alright, come on. Can we pull ooh, those Xyz monsters in the rare spot gets me every time. Gets me every time. Whoops. Smacking the camera. Getting too excited. Alright. Final two packs. Final two packs. From the last side of the first taff. You, you know what I'm talking about. Berserk Scales. Dimension Slice. I was going to say Dimension Slime. Ow. Did I just slice my finger? on that box. I'm suing Junior. Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Last pack magic for the last pack of the first side of Galactic Overlord box. Awesome heretics. Heretic seal of supremacy. And no hollow. We've actually done really good so far, considering. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully not. Oops. Hopefully not, I was vicious. Hopefully not all the good uh, pulls were stashed at the front there. Hopefully we get some nice ones here. Still saved. Come on. Okay, only a common. Thankfully, because I feel like I destroyed that pack. <laughs> Add Ghost Rare in there. Alright, be a little bit more careful now. Come on, Yu-Gi-Mo. These aren't your packs. Again, huge, huge, huge shout out to Junior slash Alberto. <laughs> awesome. Doti Toten Joji. I don't even know how to say that guy's name. Burner Dragon Ruler of Sparks. Battle and Boxer Switch Hitter. Hey, another awesome rare. Uh, Gogo Gigias and a Panther Shark. Oh, I'll keep that guy aside for him. I'm not sure if he got if he wants the. Um, the rares? If he doesn't want the supers, I would assume he doesn't want the rares, so who knows, guys? Maybe you'll get those too. That wacky magic. We haven't pulled, right? We haven't pulled our ultimate rare from Galactic Overlord. We've pulled that 
uh, Seeker Rare. That was right at the start. Ooh, we have another card right here, another Hollow, and it is an Ultra Rare Zect Conversion. Okay, that's probably not one of the better Ultras, but we've done really, really good for Ultra Rare so far from um, Galactic Overlord. Actually, just in general, in, in uh, even in Photon Shockwave, because we pulled the Galaxy Eyes there, as well as Thunder and Dragon. Both awesome Ultra Rares, like the awesome one we pulled today, Shark Drake. All right, here we go. Next pack from the second half, Galactic Overlord. Can we pull a ghost, guys? Smash that like for a ghost. Mini Guts. Can we do it again? Imagine. Neo Galaxy Eyes pulled twice on the channel. It'd be fitting. It would join the OG. Hey, there we go. Awesome Heretic. And another awesome Heretic. Heretic Dragon of Sue. That was the one that uh, destroys... Basically, this one's Cyber Dragon right here, and this one destroys Spell and Traps. I remember when I was originally playing Heretics on uh, Dual Network, I think it was called. If y'all ever played Dual Network, shout out. Um, I would play, and since, like, it's like the rules weren't set, you could do whatever you want, but it was just, like, on you to follow the rules type of thing. People had no idea what I was doing, even though I was explaining in the comments, like, hey, you know, special summoning this because you don't have a monster, or sorry, because you do have a monster, using that to special summon that, yada yada, normal summon, summoning this by lowering its attack. They just couldn't keep up, basically, and they would sometimes either, like, call an admin or, uh, yeah, just quit. <laughs> so using heretics on dual links was really funny. Here we go. L-T-G-Y. Come on, where is that first? Oh, there we go, another dragon ruler. Where is that first Ghost Rare pull? It's been a while, guys. We haven't pulled the Ghost in a while. Definitely be awesome to do it for the main man, Junior. Alberto. Come on, let's do this. Heretic Dragon. Butterfly Flew. What? Evo Tile. Heretic Dragon, one of the ones that we didn't use. And the Vanilla Heretic. All righty then. Still no Aldi. Where's that Alti? And can we pull two Seeker Rares? Or a Ghost Rare and a Seeker Rare? Because, again, we've already pulled that secret from the box. First pack. I was really hoping it wasn't going to be Card Card D, so I didn't have to bring that story up again. It really hurts thinking about it. Even if uh, I don't remember it fully. Like I said, who knows? Guy might not have actually traded it to me. How many packs do I have left here now? Now I did lose count. We got four here. I'm sorry, we got eight there. And we got more here. Now we're going to Lord of the Tacky again. Lord of the Tacky. What are we at right now? 26 minutes for me. Definitely less for you guys. I think I have a couple minutes at least I can cut out. Hopefully keep this thing a little bit shorter than that last one. Altitude Knight. I know y'all. Y'all don't want to hear the chit chat. You just want to see the packs opened. Again, make sure you stay tuned for the epic Duelist Genesis, the finale of the part three of the three parter. We're going to be opening 24 unlimited Duelist Genesis packs. It's going to be unreal. That may be happening on Thursday. I think this video will be coming out Monday uh, of the same, yeah, Thursday of the same week. I'm pre recording this, if you may have noticed. I haven't done that in a while, actually. <laughs> Usually getting videos out last minute. It's the Yu Gi Oh! way. <laughs> Big whale. Hey, there we go. Another super rare Mecha Phantom Beast Mega Raptor. Actually, it's been pretty slow for a while, guys, right? We've had a lot of pretty awesome pulls at the start. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, it is definitely being, uh, been slowed down. A right? Yeah, we're, okay. we're, we're good now. We have here. You know what? Just put them all in the same box. Why not? Keep, uh, <laughs> keep them even. Where is that? Where is that ultimate rare? Oh, I'm getting itchy again. Okay, Aqua Mirror Cycle. 
Where is that first ulti, guys? Come on. Lady of D. Insector Earwing. Heretic Seal of Banishment. And another super rare, Power Wand. This is a Spellcaster support card. Of course, that archetype always, always getting the love from the Yu-Gi-Oh gods. All right, Galactic Overlord, what else do we got from here? Constellar? No, no, sorry. That's from LTGY. Number 25, Fork, Fork, Forkus? Forkus? Focus Force. A uh, secret rare I would want to pull if we could pull two secrets. Lucky 7. That would be pretty awesome. Sorry, number 7. <laughs> Lucky Straight. But we've already pulled one, so better chance to pull that ultimate we could pull an ultimate rare of that ultra we've already pulled shark drake that would be pretty epic come on pick it up here loose packs here we've already had a pretty good ratio uh for loose packs but you never know could be another ult oh my goodness as my phone just went into low power mode for sorry not low power mode as it just went into uh low battery we have another ultimate rare as i say it and it is another xyz monster guys from the back but this time i'll go quicker come on come on smash like for that number 107 we we did it we did it we did it buddy we pulled it we pulled the ultimate rare Number 107, Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. I am so jealous right now. I want this card. I'm going to squirrel it away now. This is unreal. Alberto! Go! Bro, I am, I am mind blown right now. That is pretty awesome. I was going to say, I'm, I was feeling Rux and pulling something pretty epic this, this round. But if he doesn't pull an ultimate rare, an epic ultimate rare, or secret rare, or something, or obviously the ghost rare, he is going to have a tough time here today because we pulled it. The ultimate rare, number 107, Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. Okay, so far, so far evil is triumphing over light. <laughs> that is unreal, bro. I'm so, je oh, I'm so jealous. That's awesome. That's an awesome card that I don't even have. That's why I'm opening a lot of the Zexel stuff right now. It's still pretty affordable, and uh, just a lot of the cards that I don't have actually pretty much fully completed all the 5Ds and stuff like that. So that's why I'm going after Zexel. Oh my goodness, I'm so jealous, man. That is awesome. But I'm happy we pulled it for you on the channel. Here we go. Is it another super? Oh, okay. Thought it was going to be another super for y'all. Just a rare there. We are getting down to the nitty gritty for Galactic Overlord. I'm pretty sure it was similar, but I don't think it was like the Seeker Rare on the first pack for Galactic Overlord last time, and I don't think I mixed it up. Come on, here we go. Can we pull something nuts? Where's that first ultimate rare from Galactic Overlord? Can imagine back to back Gal Galaxy Eyes Alties? That would be unreal. Rocket Arrow Express and. Oh my goodness, another ulti, but it is an effect monster. What is it, guys? Guess in the comments below. What is this card right here? An effect monster from Galactic Overlord? I don't even... What is it? What could it be? I don't think there's any huge ones. Oh, okay. It's not a huge one, but uh, it is a big dragon for sure. Heretic Dragon of Sutek. This is like a uh, scuffed raw, I've always called it. But this is what, actually one of the heretics that we didn't use much. One of the one of the ones I've never pulled an ultimate rare, though. So it's pretty cool to pull it in ulti. That's why I was really confused. I was like, ultimate rare effect monster from Galactic Overlord. What is that? But nonetheless, it's a, it's a monster. So I'd rather that like over a spell card. Even though there are some pretty cool spell cards in here. Like uh, Night Beam and like Drac Connection. That are probably worth more. Heretic Dragon of Sutek is a definitely a very cool looking monster. I will take that. Little foil shift at the bottom there. Alright, so there's our ultimate rare from Galactic Overlord. Now it is it is 
well, from the from the unlimited packs, we've already pulled two alties, so it's it's is a crapshoot. We could pull on an unlimited amount of alties, but um, from the box there, I'm pretty sure we've got all the big pulls, unless a second secret or ghost rare is hiding. So you never know. Stay tuned to find out this week on Yugi Mozi. Oh, there we go. That's a pretty awesome rare. Harpy's pet phantasmal dragon and a little fairy. That's actually a, I think it's worth like a buck or something too, the Harpy. All right, this is, I'm so happy, I'm so happy we pulled that for you. I'll buy it off you, if you'll let me. All right, here we go, L-T-G-O-Y. Can we pull another ultimate, another secret rare? That would be absolutely unreal, but I'd take the ghost too. Big whale and, ah, starfish. I'm a motherfucking starfish. Little Yugi, little Yugi Mo vocals there for you. Now I have to do that every time I pull starfish. I'll pack my opening here. What pack did I just open? That was an LTG Rye, right? Here, let's just go one for one now since we're getting down to the end here. Galactic Overlord should be tapped out for a booster box. Maybe a couple more supers here for y'all. Be awesome if you pulled a, another queen, queen dragoon. Commons are getting out of, out of place here. <laughs> start when I start to, uh, usually try to keep things every, like pretty tidy around, around the recording. But when I start to get awesome pulls, things just get out of hand. I just start to put commons Everywhere. In my sock. In my ear. Anywhere. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Big whale. And, oh, there we go. Fire formation. I thought that said Goku. First thing that came to mind there. Fire formation. Gyoku? Is that what it says? Alright, LTGY has been kind to us. I want to I wanna open some more now. It's actually, that's one of the sets uh, probably to open the least on the, on the channel. Haven't been able to get any blisters of those. You thank Calvin for that. You've useless. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Alright, Lady of D. Insector Earwig. Heretic Seal. And, oh, you got something. Is it a super? Oh, awesome. It is a Heretic Dragon of Jabeb. That is a very good super as well. Holds some value, I believe. I actually don't remember using that one, so I'm not really sure why, why it holds value, but uh, oh, and then we also got another Heretic Seal of Covocation, so pretty good rare in that pack. Not too shabby. Again, those rares might be coming your guys' way too, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, we're definitely going to have two winners. So the LTGY Super Rares will be one winner, and the GAOV will be another. Ooh, we have an Xyz monster, guys. This one isn't an ultimate rare, so you know what that means. This one could be a ghost rare. Come on, smash like. Oh my. C come on, King of the Pharaoh Limps, you troll commons. That is terrible. You common Xyz monsters. Sorry for that, guys. Little, uh. Got y'all excited there for nothing. I only, I only, I only go from the back when, um. When I do think it's like a big pull, at least when I see it's like an ultimate. Or a, uh, a, a hollow, Ooh, like I see here. This is another Xyz monster, but this one, this one's definitely a hollow. You can tell with that border, it's a little bit bluer. <sighs> Come on, guys. Is it another super rare Queen to Jin, or is it a ghost rare? Secret rare! We did it! And we pulled the guy that I wanted! Two secret rares in one box. Number seven, lucky straight. And what a lucky card to pull. What a fitting card to pull. As a second secret rare. Okay, so now I do, I don't think, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the ghost does replace a secret. So now I don't think we can pull a ghost from Galactic Overlord. But who knows? Maybe now with our lucky straight. Here, we'll actually, we'll leave a lucky straight right here in the box. We'll take out the packs right here, our last few packs. Whoops, comments going everywhere. Like I said, guys, sorry. 
All right, last few packs taken out. Lucky straight. Leave you there for luck. This is ins this has been absolutely insane, guys. It's been it's gone a little bit longer so, than I probably wanted it to, but the pulls have justified. Hopefully, Dragon Ruler of Sparks, Battle and Boxer, Switch Hitter, Bachi Bachi Bachi. I can't believe I haven't seen that comment yet. That's hilarious. <laughs> Big Whale. And another super rare. Noble Arms of Destiny. Gotta love those Noble Arms cards. All right, guys. Lucky straight. Last two packs here for last pack magic. Again, we'll probably go Galactic Overlord knowing there's most likely at best just a super rare in here. That is awesome, though. I'm so happy I pulled two Seeker Rares because I've been talking about it. For Zexel, you can pull that. Meanwhile, myself opening boxes, especially 5D stuff, I would open them and not even pull one. Ooh! Oh my goodness, there we go. Another Super Rare. Shining Elf. Guys, you guys are getting blessed today with the Supers. Some pretty epic cards. All right. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the Duelist Genesis opening coming up later this week. Here we go, last pack magic, guys. Smash like for a ghost rare just to end this epic opening. Imagine to pull ultimate rare and ghost rare number 107, Neo, sorry, Galaxy has Tachyon Dragon in the same opening. Okay, it's not a it's not a ghost, but it is another super. Check it out. Another card for you all to win. Evil Swarm, carry carry on, carry key on. There we go. This was this was one of my favorite openings to do in a while. I'm very, very happy Junior was able to provide us with these epic packs. We're going to wrap everything up for a quick recap. All right, so here we go, guys. Some epic rares. The Heretic Seals, Go Go Gigas, the uh, Dragon Ruler, and Harpy's Pet Phantasmal. Phantasmal? Phantasmal. <laughs> Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon. The super rares that you guys can win from Galactic Overlord, Shining Elf, Heretic Dragon of Jabeb. I'm going to sleeve all these guys up for you. Oh, leave those all these for later. Bound Wand, Queen Dragon Dijin, sorry, Dragon, Dragoon Dijin, Hammer Bouncer, and that is it. But the ultra rares that we pulled, pretty awesome. Zect conversion, but the one that I really love is that number 32 Shark Drake. We pulled, obviously, an epic ultra, ultimate rare. It's a, it's a monster, at least, so that's pretty nice. Value, I'm not sure how, how awesome that is, but what is pretty awesome, the double secret rares that we pulled. Are you kidding me? Check this out, guys. Lucky straight, number seven, lucky straight, and card, card D, two secret rares from one booster box. That's pretty epic. That doesn't happen all the time. Now, on to the LTGY pulls. The awesome super rares that you can pull. Evil Swarm, Noble Arms of Destiny, Fire Formation. There's a lot of them. Mecha Phantom Beast, Mega Raptor, Constellar, Sombre. This one's pretty awesome. Maldolce, Madolce. I always say the name wrong. Madolce Hoot Cake. The uh, second Sombre that you can win there. Okay, as I was saying before, I was so rudely cut off by running out of space on my GoPro because I forgot to delete the face cram footage from the last video. <laughs> Here are two ultra rares from Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Pretty awesome. Harpy Channeler. But no two secret rares, but pretty awesome. I would definitely trade that for the two ultimate rares that we got. Number C, 105 Battling Boxer Comet Cestus. Cestus. Number 107 Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. The cover card pretty epic and of course we can't forget about our secret spellbook of judgment pretty unreal pulls for junior ruxin you're gonna have a tough go again for part two make sure you guys stay tuned for part three coming up later this week until then peace Oh!